What's up, guys? Before this video starts, be sure to follow us on all platforms, including on Rumble, which you can find in the pinned comment. Um, this platform has been giving a lot of people like us a lot of problems lately, and <clears throat> Rumble is a lot more receptive um, to free speech and whatnot. So be sure to follow us on Rumble. Um, any video on here, you can also find on Rumble. And if you're looking for a video and can't find it on here, it'll be on our Rumble. So be sure to follow us on Rumble in the pinned comment. Like the video. This channel is a group of investigative journalists who make educational documentaries showcasing and educating society, especially parents and legal guardians, about potential scenarios that result from young people and adults conversating online if left unchecked. We conduct thorough interviews with consenting adults in an attempt to understand their perspective on why they partake in these conversations online with people that are not of age. The goal of the interviews in these videos and the videos themselves is to gain an understanding of the perspective of the individual being interviewed so parents and the rest of society can be educated and aware of potential thought processes and desires of adults online to unsupervised persons not of age. These videos are not to cyberbully, harass, degrade, accuse, or threaten any individuals partaking in the interview process or in the video itself. We do not condone any of these actions. These videos are strictly educational, and we grant full permission for academia, which is any classroom setting or in scholarly papers, to show or cite our videos. To ensure that these videos are strictly used for educational purposes, we strictly adhere to YouTube's community guidelines, such as not revealing someone's personally identifiable information, in other words, PII. YouTube defines personally identifiable information as their home address, email addresses, signing credentials, phone numbers, passport number, medical records, or bank account information. We thoroughly look at and edit our videos to ensure that none of this information about any individual is shown in our videos. To ensure extra privacy for each person that is a subject of an interview in any of our videos, as of September 1st, 2022, to thoroughly comply with YouTube's harassment and bullying policy, there will be no mention or information about the last name or first name of any person interviewed in our videos. Due to potentially illegal activities discussed in our videos, law enforcement in the respective jurisdiction we conduct these interviews in is notified of each interview and video filmed by us. We are not accusing any individual interviewed of being guilty or committing a crime. That is the job of law enforcement. We are not vigilantes and we do not condone vigilantism or vigilante behavior, such as taking the law into your own hand or not notifying law enforcement when a suspected crime takes place. We are investigative journalists. Trigger warning. Some of what can be discussed in these videos can be sensitive to some, emotional, or stressful. The only goal of these videos is to educate the public. At the end of each video, as of September 1st, 2022, there will be an educational portion at the end to discuss what was talked about in the video and to discuss what people can, what people can take from that video and learn from and tell others about. Our goal here is to bring awareness and educate the public. Now the video will start. What's up guys? A lot of you guys may know about the Gordon Flowers hoodie. However, we also have a fried pickles hoodie as you can see right here. And Gordon Flowers sweatshirts that you can get in many, many different colors. Show your support for the Gordon Flowers movement and the PP movement by getting one of these. I can tell you they are very, very comfortable. Like in all seriousness, they are. And I actually do wear them. So uh, be sure to get one of these and enjoy the video. Start climbing the fence and just hit him over the head. Hey, Loyal. <laughs> hey, how's it going? Hey, how you doing? Hi, uh, I got my name is Gordon. I gotta talk to you about what's going on with Katie, okay? We got the printouts here. We're filming for safety reasons, so you can be assured I'm not here to hurt you or anything like that, all right? We're just here to have a conversation about what's going on, okay? Sound good? Okay, yeah. All right. Maybe I can just take a seat next to you right here. Wonder if I move your energy drink? Uh, sure. Okay. So your name's Loyal? Yeah. Nice. Cool name. So, just before we get into anything, um, how old's Katie? Uh, 22. Well, how old did she tell you she was? 22. Okay. I Look. Met her on a dating app. 
and her profile said 22. Mm -hmm. Oh, her profile said that? Did she tell you 22? Yeah. Okay, look, I know it's like, obviously, there's a lot of nervousness going on, because obviously the cameras and you weren't expecting this. But again, like, I'm just here to have a conversation about it. I'm just getting a cigarette. Okay. I'm just here to have a conversation. Um, okay, so, I mean, like, yeah, I, I'm, I'm confused, like, I, I don't... I'm just reminding you, I do have, like, the messages here and stuff like that. Okay. Okay. So, obviously, there was talks to, you know, delete the messages and <clears throat> stuff to, like, you know, not mention her real age and whatnot. Okay, so I'm just letting you know I, I do have all those, and... You know, I'm just asking what's going on because I already know the answer. So how old did she tell you she was? Uh, 22, but then I was asking about, um, uh, like, you know, she, she said something about age difference or whatever. And then there was a point in time um, where I reached her on the, on the app and I was like, how old are you really? And she said, I, I told you, look at my profile. And I, I did, I was like, okay, so you're, you're 22. I like, so just to be safe, like you're 22, right? And she's like, yeah, I'm like, okay. Cause I'm, I'm a little confused. Okay, did she- A little back and forth going on, you know? Did she tell you a different age on the text messages? Um, there was a few, yeah, and I was confused. I was like, how old are you really? And so I went back to the dating app and I, got on there and I asked and she said 22. And I said, okay, because I'm a little confused right now, you know? Like, well, did, did she tell you 22 on the text messages too? Um, I thought at one point I could have sworn. Well, what other ages did she tell you? Um, well, that's what confused me because she said, uh, she said 14. I was like, whoa, uh -huh. wait a minute. And I was like, are you, I was like, you, you can't be saying that because it's not, that can't be right, you know? So I, and then I, I went back to the dating app and I looked on there and, and her profile said 22. And that's when I asked, I was like, how old are you really? You know, and she said 22. I was like, okay. And she's like, I just like to tell people a different age or whatever, because I don't want people to know. And then she's like, I don't like people to know where I, I live or this, that, and the other. And I'm like, okay, I'm just really confused, you know? So, um, Okay, well, here it says, I know that we have to be careful because I'm only 14, soon to be 15. But if you still like me when I'm 16, that's the legal age of consent, so no one would have the right to say anything. And you said we had a rule to never, ever text or mention what you just said. So. Yeah, because that's bad. <clears throat> like, and she's already right. told me and you, that she's 22. And so I'm like, you know, I was like, you can't be saying that. Mm -hmm. Like, what, what are you getting at, you know? Right. I mean, you know, also loyal. When stuff is said here, so why aren't you in school today? And I do school online, I'm trying to graduate early. Oh, really, you must be very smart. Okay. <clears throat> so if she was 22, she wouldn't be in school, especially doing online school. College, online college. Right, not at 22. And to graduate early? You don't graduate college early at 22. I don't know if you'd be able to have, I mean. Okay. But, but yeah, I see what you mean. But you know, when there's stuff said, like, you know, I haven't done this stuff before, stuff like that, and all of this, like I'm letting you know, I mean, if you just got a little bit carried away and this is what happened then, you know, cause obviously she yeah, said- I don't want any trouble. I don't- Yeah, want, no, I don't- I don't, if she's really f not 22, I don't want nothing to do with it. Okay, but- Oh, I don't. But when stuff is said- it's freaking me out. Right. But when stuff is said, for example, you know, are you gonna be alone? Make sure your parents aren't home. That doesn't really add up to her being 22. Like I understand, maybe at first when you messaged her on the app, you thought she was 22 until she told you something else. Yeah, but then I kept getting back on the app and I was like, you know, talking to her there and I'm like, what's really going on? You know, like, are you, how old are you really? Well, did, did she, she, didn't she tell you she was in high school? She told me that she was doing online courses. Okay. On the app, she told me online courses for, uh, to graduate college, uh, something about nursing, I thought, I'm not sure. Okay, well, I mean, if you have those messages, you can show me, but that's not what they say. I mean, <clears throat> look. It, I, I don't want any trouble, like, I, no, I, if I don't, she's really. Well, like, I don't, I don't think that's don't, what you need. I just think maybe there was a little bit of getting carried away that happened and all that, because on the phone, she also, we have those calls recorded on the phone. She also told you that she was 14. 
and I thought she was just kidding. Like, yeah. I thought she was just playing around. Like, I, I, she said she doesn't like to know, uh, for people. To, she told me on the app that she doesn't like people to know uh, her real age, mm -hmm. and that sometimes she forgets things. She lies, and I'm like, okay, well, you know, I've I've asked her on the app. I'm like, so what is it really? You know, and, and did she told you 14? She told me on the app 22. And okay. even said it on her profile, 22 years old. Right, I understand they said it on the profile, but if she's telling you she doesn't like people knowing her real age and 22 is what the profile says, what what you just said didn't really, kind of contradicted itself. Yeah. Like, I mean, look, Royal, I mean, Loyal, I understand that there's obviously nervousness about being, you know, approached about this. And I'm not saying, you know, like, I'm sure if Katie said, oh, I'm 10 years old or 9 years old, you wouldn't be, like, talking like no, this. No, no, no. I think Either it was... Either way, I... I like I said, you, you know, if if she's not 22, I don't want nothing to do with it I, at all. I don't like I'm I'm right, I but don't, I don't need that trouble. Like but, I've got a good job. I've, I'm doing, you know, things in my life. You know that that's that's making a difference, and I don't need any trouble. I don't want nothing to do with it. Right, but you know, and I understand you are doing things that make a difference. That's why I think this is more of a more of you just got maybe getting a little bit carried away than a pattern, of course. Okay. Yeah, because I've never done nothing like this. Yeah, no. This is not like me. This is so. your first time? Yeah, I've never, okay. like, I don't go and meet people. I don't do nothing like that. I don't, it's, it's, I, I don't, like. Is this your first time, like, talking to someone, like, a younger lady under 18? I, as far as I know, yeah. I mean, okay. I need, maybe I need to double check on, be a little more cautious next time, you know, or just not. I mean, have there, been other, have there been other people that told you they were, like, under 18 before? No. Okay, so this is like the first time. Yeah, okay. I've never had this issue. I don't. I don't. Okay. I I just thought she was just playing games or something, being silly. I don't know. Like I I, she told me on the app that, you know, sometimes I'll lie about my age or I'll say things, but it's just she said something to cover my my butt or something. I and and mm -hmm. I was like, well, that doesn't make sense. But how old are you really? She said twenty two on the dating app and she said check my profile and so I checked the profile and said 22 and then at some point she got rid of the profile right but you know I understand at first but then after a month of talking and she's telling you I mean she told you she couldn't drive she said she'd have to uber to you or you'd have to uber to her she said she couldn't drive and you know before you say oh there's 22 year olds that can't drive okay buddy sure but like you know, when she says, I'm trying to graduate school early, I can't drive, and then, of course, tells you, I'm 14, soon to be 15. Look, I mean, I, I get that, you know, there's probably a lot going on in your life right now, and there's that happens, but, you know, I know you're a good person, a very loyal guy, I should say, literally. And, look, I, I know this isn't a, a pattern for you, but my gosh if there is and i understand why you know there'd be some you know untruths some misinformation if you will being said because you know you're smoking a cigarette i get your nerves have anxiety and all of that stuff i know i know that's why but on the other hand dude i'm not i don't believe that you know you're a bad dude or anything but I'm i also not, i don't want to be with i want someone that's at least 22 and older i don't want somebody that's that's young if they're really young I don't want nothing to do with it. Well, I'm not saying that's your preference or anything. It's not. But, but like, I'm saying this is a one-time thing that obviously happened because, you know, like I, I understand. Like if I was if I was in your position right now, I would probably be saying I would probably be saying the same thing. Um, like, yeah, oh well, her profile said this or that. I totally understand that. When you first messaged her, you thought she was 22, of course. But after a month of talking on the phone, after her saying. You know, I'm trying to graduate high school early. After her saying I can't drive, after her telling you she's 14, I mean, loyal. The only, the only, I mean, like, what are you trying to, what are you trying to prove here? I, I, I mean, of course, like we both know that you knew she was 14. And did she ever tell you to stop talking to her? I don't believe so. Okay, so, I don't so. if what if she told you to stop? I'd stop. Okay, so you're you don't you're not forcing yourself on anybody or anything like that. You weren't forceful in the messages. It just I just feel like maybe I you just feel like I got played. Like I, I feel like really stupid right now. I think you just got a little bit carried away. Yeah, I feel really very foolish right now, and I apologize. I'm. 
I'm so sorry. Like, I don't, I just, I just want this to go away. I don't want everyone to contact. I'm not going to be contacting anybody, to be honest. I just, I just want to go to work and, and of go, course, and go home and not leave this kind of stuff alone. Don't you work for a hotline? Uh, yeah. Okay. So, I th the last thing I want to do is take away someone that cares away from that. You know, I don't. But again, like I would hope that honest people, like if I was your boss at the at the call, you kind of just call it the call center. Sure. If I was your boss at the call center, you know, and I come across these messages, do you think I'd want to work with someone that's honest with me? and just says, hey man, look, I knew she was 14, I've never done this before, it won't happen again. Or someone that's like, oh dude, she, I, I thought she was 22. Come on, you know that's not true, man. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not here to judge you, because you know, if, if, I'm not perfect, I've made my fair share of slip ups and getting carried away. And you know, it, yeah, I made, I, made a, I made a huge mistake. Okay, so. I made a huge mistake and uh, This is the first time this happened before? Okay. So so you didn't know that there was a 14 year old supposed to come meet you here? I didn't know how old she really was. I, I thought, it, I didn't really know. Okay. I really didn't know. What has she told sure. you the past month? She's told me uh, different things. Okay, like, after, after the app, what has she told you the past month on text messages? This is only a third of the text messages printed out. So there's stacks and stacks and stacks of her saying she's 14. And Loyal, like, I can't this. Loyal, dude, there's also times where, multiple times where from your end it was said, make sure you delete these messages, delete this, delete that. That's not behavior towards a 22 year old. You know that, dude, we both know that. You know, I'm, I'm here to, I mean. I'm sorry. Yeah. I, I, this is crazy, this is. Very embarrassing. <clears throat> I mean, I just want to have a talk about this, but, uh, you know, to have a talk, we have to acknowledge basic truths, you know? I mean, how, how old are you? 30s, 40s? Yeah. Which one? 30s, 40s? 40. Okay. So if this was a fellow 40-year-old, I don't think you'd say delete these messages. I mean, you're a very, you're a very smart guy who's turned his life around, okay? But I'm not, you know, I'm not the smartest, but I'm, I'm not dumb, dude. There's only one reason why she's telling you she's 14 and then you're saying delete the messages and don't mention that. It's because there was knowledge that she was 14. It, 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 is, it is what it is. I mean, my God, it's not like it's an eight year. If it was an eight year old, I should probably not be talking to you. You know what I mean? Yeah, but either way, it's still bad. It's still bad. <clears throat> right, but there's it's levels. Bad. There's levels to it. Did Did you feel any like? Uh, did you Did you feel like a type of way coming here? Like I feel bad about this, or? Yeah, I felt very awkward. I felt uh, a lot of um, anxiety and 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 just I didn't know how to feel or think. And I'm, um, you know, I. Okay, hit it overhand. I just didn't know what to expect. Overhand. I didn't know what to expect. Did you think that, were you scared of being caught? I mean, I was scared that she really wasn't 22, yeah, and I was scared that something might happen and, and I get in trouble and I didn't want that to happen. And then here we are and now I'm freaking out a little bit. And yeah. I just, I just want to go home and, and forget all this and just go to work and. Okay, but if there was, if there was, if there was like I a. I don't want to ever get on a dating app again. Oh, well, you can do whatever you want after this, but if, but I'm if. I'm so sorry. Why, yeah, but Loyal, if. I'm so sorry. If you felt like a certain, if you felt like a certain way about it and felt like, you know, I might be caught or anything like that, then, then obviously, dude, look, I'm not saying from the very beginning, I'm not saying you were looking for a 14 year old on the no, dating app. I was app. taking a chance, you know, that this might be, actually be, what she said to begin with and okay but be honest, if i would have found out when she if she would have showed up and was like hey and i you know i would have been like hey you know can you prove that you're 22 and she couldn't do that i would have just i would just left right but i mean because i was honestly about to just leave because i was just like this ain't something don't feel right right but 
you know, when there's like bear stuff, when you're calling this girl booger butt, and then here you say, so you're telling me your friend knows about me and us and our age difference? So what are you gonna say about me then? Okay. I mean, 22 is kind of big age difference still. That's not what, come on, I know, man. I'm just saying either way, like it's still a big but, age difference. Okay, but when you say, does our friend know about our age difference? That's, that's not in reference to her being an adult. So what, what do we need to do from this point? What, what can I do? Because I don't want any more contact. Oh, I, I, I don't want anything to do with this person or anything to do with any more dating apps or none of this. I don't. Well, I, I just want to have a conversation, but, you know, I mean, this definitely needs to be addressed, I'd say. But, I mean, I can't, like, hold you here. But, like, it definitely needs to be addressed in a way. And, you, you know, like, like I said, Loyal, like, I mean, there's a lot of, you know, there's a lot of, I appreciate you being honest for the most part saying, uh, you know, I'm not saying I got hacked or any of this bullshit. I mean, you're owning up to the messages, but, but obviously when it's being said, like, does your friend know our age difference in this type of stuff? Okay. I mean, look, again, I'm not, I'm not judging you for messaging her at first because the profile did say 22. Yeah. Okay. But after a month if she said that she lied about her age then 22 obviously isn't her age i mean but the thing is like i'm saying stuff that we both already know i mean my gosh i'm trying to meet you 99 percent of the way i mean Look, i just don't want nothing to do with this anymore this is this is this is bad i made a huge mistake and i don't ever want to um i'm never going to text this person again i'm not going to get on any more dating apps I just want to go to work, go home, and mind my business. Of course, but... I, I don't, I can't do this anymore. This is bad. Right, but, I mean, this isn't a picture of a 22-year-old. Okay, I'm not, I'm not, say, I'm not saying... I'm not saying... that, I think she said that was her sister. Oh, okay. Well, I'm not, I'm not saying, I'm not saying that... She just found out she had a sister or whatever, something like that. Okay. And I'm not saying that your preference... I'm not saying that your preference is you know, younger ladies under 18. It's, it's not. I, yeah, I doubt it is. I mean, when's the last time you had a girlfriend? Um, recently, I uh, just went to, went with her and her kids, like to, um, like a little convention, like a barbecue thing. And, um, we had a good time, you know? Um, so I mean, like, it just, she's, she's, her situation's difficult. So we just kind of took a break kind of step back for a little bit mm -hmm. and she's she's like 36 so i mean 33 i'm sorry and uh you know i'm i've been thinking about her like getting back with her i've actually been texting her and i almost just said forget all this and just went with her instead and i kind of wish i would have mm -hmm. i really do i think she's the one i need to be with not this person not anybody else I mean, she accepts me for who I am. She's a good woman. Yeah. I feel I'm going to have to be honest with her and tell her what happened. And I'm going to tell her about all this. Okay. I'm be honest with her and, and say, look, I, I made a mistake. And I don't know if you'll have me back, but I, um, you're the one that I need because this, I've, made, I've been making some bad mistakes. And mm -hmm. Yeah. And like, like I said. She's a good girlfriend. And yeah. I don't need, I don't need, um. I don't need this. I don't need any trouble. I, yeah, I don't this think is crazy. I don't think you need any trouble. I just think you need some maybe some guidance or something like that. Okay, because obviously you know you're getting your life on the right track. I don't want this to, you know, derail that. But you know, loyal and stuff. I said I don't think they are allowed to do that. It's very, you know, being stuff like being discreet. Delete these messages. Even even if there's an age difference with a 22 year old, you don't delete that's legal right like okay if you let your little brother use your phone or something yeah okay whatever you want to delete some nudes but but look i mean as far as kids yeah i think that's something we could do one day when you're older i mean this was said by you i honestly don't think my mom would do that she pretty much lets me go and do things anytime i want to it's easier for her because she's not watching me isn't 16 and okay in the state only with parental consent i think i'd have to start researching that
I mean, loyal. When when stuff is said like, oh, t when stuff is said like, oh, today I thought she was 22. The only person that you're lying to is yourself. Okay. So, look, I'm not saying you're gonna run off and marry her. Okay. I know that's just talk. That happens. All right. I would assume you weren't gonna run off and marry her. I don't know. Okay. I think I think what this was was a one-time mistake with somebody that you truly did believe based on all of the messages, the phone calls, which are all recorded, that was 14. And I and I think this is the first and last time this happens, is that correct? Yeah. Okay. Hell yeah. Oh my God, yeah. Okay. I, I mm -mm, no, never again. Okay. I like, I. let's just say I got on a dating app, which I won't, but if I did, um, you know, I'm gonna be a little more thorough and a little, a little more cautious and safe and not, if anybody tells me anything different, I'm I'm just gonna drop it right there. Right, so like I'm I, not gonna pursue anything. Like I like I, I like I get it first, of course. Like, you know, she may tell you 14, and you're like, wait a minute. But then, you know, when it gets to the point, like I'd have to research parental consent laws. That's that no belief shows that you still believe she was 22. There has there has to be a there has to be a drop off. There has to be a time where you believe she was 22, then started believing she was 14. There has to be, I mean, we both know, when, when was that time? Was it the first day? I, I, I don't, I just, I don't know anymore. I'm, I'm just, I'm so confused right now and I'm hurt and I'm like disappointed, uh, I'm disappointed in myself. Um, I just wanna go home. I mean, you can, but like, I mean, w was there a time when it, the belief that she was 22 just stopped? I just wasn't sure. Okay, but you know, it was said that you were gonna research parental consent laws when she turned 16. All I can tell you is, is I made, I made a mistake. Okay. And I, I'm just, I just wanna go home. Well, you can, but what, what but right, but if you know, I'm hearing that there was a mistake made, and that you're researching parental consent laws and all of this stuff. I mean, if I were to go in your search history, I already know it's there. I already know it was searched up. I mean, you may have cleared it. I haven't checked, but it's there, isn't it? I, I don't know. Okay. Well, you researched it. That I that 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 I do know. That's correct, isn't that? I, I just, I, I'm just confused right now. Right, but, but loyal one, when, when there's looked at your shit and saw that you did look up parental consent laws, do you remember the date that w that happened? I don't, I don't remember anything. I, mean, okay. I really don't. Do you just remember kind of just doing it when it was said, maybe? I don't even know. I can't even think straight right now. I get that. I, uh... I need to, I need to put this behind me and, and just forget it. And I need to go home. Well, you can, but... I will then. I, I, I can't. I'm so sorry, guys. Okay. I'm so, loyal. <clears throat> Are the condoms in the bag? I uh, I have my uh, drink and I have um, some glass spray and I don't remember what all I have. Okay. Or, if, okay. Well, if I were to search through there, where are the condoms going to be in that pocket? That pocket? Where are they going to be? I, I'm not going to go into that right now. Okay. I I, I made a f mistake. So, Laura, let me just tell you something. When I when I came here, I thought that. When I came here, you gonna listen? I'm listening. When I came here, I thought I had this, I had this image of you that was like a big wall that was like this is a good dude who just slipped up once. But every time, frankly, every time that there's some BS being said about the condoms, about her age, every time that's said, I just that you're just tearing down a brick of that wall to where I think you know what? Maybe this wasn't a one-time mistake. Maybe this it is, is a one-time mistake. I'm just, <clears throat> I'm just really nervous right now, and I don't, 
feel comfortable. Like I, I fucked up really bad. Okay. And I. Like really bad. I'm so sorry. Like I can't believe it. I allowed this to get so far and for this to happen. I'm so sorry. Okay. I just want to go home now. You can. I'm so sorry, guys. Okay. I'm so sorry. Well, I'm just letting. Okay. Thank you for talking to me, and, and I really appreciate your time. But I, I can't let anything like this happen again. I just gotta go to work and go home. May I have the condoms, please? I don't even know if I have any. Okay, well, you took a picture of them, man. <clears throat> I mean, lo loyal. I mean, right, right now, right now, I mean, right now, I think it's just kind of less than a mistake, and this is more of just... No, this is a bad mistake. This is ridiculous. Like, I f***ed up. And I just want to go home. I just want to go home. I'm so sorry. I mean, you can... Do whatever you want. Okay, can you please stop following me? We're in a public place. I see, I, I really just want to, would rather have a conversation, but, you know, it seems like, it seems like the whole thing about turning your life around, I'm not really, I mean, it just kind of seems insincere, dude. I do want to turn my life around. Well, can we just have a talk? We did. I'm we did? We're freaking me out right now, and you're following me, and I get it that you want to have a conversation. Well, let's we'll do it away from the park then. That's fine. Okay. You just want to stop at that corner? No, I just want to keep walking for now. Okay, that's cool. So. <clears throat> okay. So, so loyal. When when your bag eventually is going to be looked through. Are you, gonna, are you gonna make the person's job harder by just no. lying about something as simple as condoms? No. Okay. I just don't want to answer any more questions. I don't want to talk. I'm nervous. I just want to go home. You told me I could go home. Yeah, you can. I don't want anything like this to ever happen again. I'm not gonna let anything like this happen again. I'm scared out of my mind right now. Like. Okay. I can't afford to get locked up and, and, and get in trouble. I can't afford none of this. I really f up. Yeah, but I'm literally just giving you the... Look, man, I came a long way to just have a conversation about this. I know it's uncomfortable, especially, you know, with the, you know, with the camera, with me just confronting you about these messages, but... Yeah, it's very uncomfortable. Yeah. But I mean, I'm trying to, dude, I, I literally just think you need help and not trouble. But I'm just trying to, I'm trying to work with you here, man. I will get help. I will do what I need to do. But look, I mean, but why, but why should, why should I meet you halfway when, when it's just blatantly not true about the condoms, about her age? I mean, like, I understand not being honest at first, but, I mean, you think, do you think with all these messages and phone calls that I have to, that I even should, had to have a talk with you? No. Okay. I uh... So it's really more about just me seeing how honest you are. And so far, there's been almost nothing that there was, that there's been honesty about, Loyal. I, some, one point, yeah, I, I thought maybe your age was was true and then it wasn't and then I wasn't sure and then I I just went along with it and okay so that's just you just assumed she was 14 you went along with it is that what happened I was really hoping she was 22 okay but if you went along with it is that is that just what you is that was just is that like just what you assumed then or what I just wanted to assume that she was really 22 you wanted to I was really hoping that she was Really hope. Right, but she hasn't told you she was 22 in a month. It's been over a month. The only time she signaled that was from her profile, 
but there's been phone calls where she told you she was 14. You said, you, I mean, loyal. I mean, you just told me a while ago that you looked up parental consent laws. What have I done? What have I done? I mean, I literally just, I, I think this could be addressed, but in just the conversation, but there's just so much, there's just like so much, there's so much, you know, crap going on yeah. that, I mean, I just thought you would be a little bit more honest than this. I just don't know what to say at this point. I'm freaking out. It's all scary. I mean, put it this way, do you, do you think? Like, my job is in jeopardy right now. My, I'm, I'm freaking out. I do, I do not, why? <laughs> I have no interest in, I have no interest in putting any of that in jeopardy. It kind of seems like it. What do you mean? It feels like it. Well. Well, my gosh, man. I, I, I mean, I, it's, it's pretty bad. It's pretty bad. Yeah, I know it's like, <laughs> I know this isn't the best situation to be in, dude. But like I said, if I was your boss, would I rather work with someone who's just honest or someone who's just blatantly, or someone that's just blatantly telling an untruth? I mean, what do you think? Yeah, they'd be pretty disappointed. Right. I mean, I'm going to have to confront them and tell them I have something I need to talk to you about. Okay. And just be honest with them about it. But not with me. I just don't want to, like, keep talking about it. I know what needs to be done. I know what changes need to be made. But the thing is, I, the thing is, I would have been done with this conversation if there was just some honesty. But there's not. I mean, why would... I mean, what caused you to send peanuts? It's not about admission or not admission. It's literally just how honest is how honest is this guy? I mean, why were why were why were pictures sent to her? What was going on there, man? You have an answer for that? No. Did you just get kind of carried away? I got too carried away. Okay. Yeah, very. Okay. Extremely. I, feel I mean, like a freaking complete idiot right now. I mean, there was even. I mean, just what, like, what was going through your mind when you sent those? Were you thinking? I wasn't thinking. Okay. Did you just kind of do it willy-nilly with, did you regret sending them? Um. I don't know if I had to write away now. Huh? You're good. Did you regret sending them? I regret everything. Okay, did you regret sending the pictures? I regret everything. Okay. How many did you send? I, I don't know. I just regret everything that's happened. Did you send one picture or over one? Dude, I, I, I don't know. Okay. Why'd you send any in the first place? This is crazy. I understand that. I mean, I understand, dude. Okay. Hey, guys. Hey. Loyal man. Dude, can I just get use the bathroom? I gotta, I gotta go pee too, actually.
All right. I mean, loyal man. Can you please just leave me alone? I just want to go. You can go wherever you want, but we're also in a public place. I mean, dude, I literally just want a conversation with you. I, I've talked. I know what needs to be done. No, but you, but that's like. Well, just just so, just so you know, I also know you're not supposed to be in the state of Iowa right now, too. Okay, so. Okay, well, Please. you can, you can, ever make you can do whatever you want. So you're breaking probation by being in the state of Iowa, and I'm literally just trying to talk to you. Okay. I mean, I this, I mean, this is, I this really is the do. courtesy that I get back. I'm just, you told me I could go. You can do whatever you want. Doing. I just want to go home. I made a f***ed up mistake. I'm never going to make a dumbass like that again. Can we just have no, a talk no. right here for a few minutes? I just, I need to keep walking. My mind is spinning. I get it, right? I get it, dude. This happens. Okay. So. May I just get the condom oil? I I just want to be left alone, please. I mean, you can go wherever you want. Okay. But but also <laughs> I mean, loyal like what's well, I mean, what's I mean, all you're doing is making it harder for all of us. Thank you. Okay. Full split. Okay. So right now, Royal, I'm letting you know you're in the state of Iowa where you're not supposed to be. You brought condoms to meet a girl who said she was 14. So. I've had that condom in my bag. <laughs> okay, buddy. That's. Right. And you brought your bag for a day trip. So far, everything else in your bag, the cigarettes, the drink you, you've used. So what does that tell me? I don't know. Okay. So, so I'm letting you know, I have messages of your picture sent to a 14 year old girl, condom, and you're breaking probation being here. Can we please have a conversation? I'm literally going out of my way for you to do you a solid. And what solid are you doing me though? You keep following me around on camera. Well, I have to do that, oh, so. I just want to go home. You can do whatever you want. Okay. Okay, but. I mean, look, because I just. You can be done with this talk whenever you want, I'm, I'm but I'm just letting you know I'm not done with it. Okay. So. I understand that. And I don't blame you. I don't blame you. Okay. Um, we can walk and talk. We can walk and talk if you want. So you, you brought a condom for a girl that wasn't your girlfriend. That's not too loyal of you, buddy. Just trying to lighten the mood. Okay. Kind of a... Look. Wrong time, wrong place for that. Yeah. Okay. That's fine. What? Is this your property? No. Your property? 
that's my son's girlfriend. Oh, I mean, you can. I mean, if you, if you want to report us, you can. I mean, we just know you brought a condom for a 14-year-old oh, girl. Dude. We have your messages here. Dude. Right. What happened? They keep following me around. Well, you need to go off the property. Yeah. Okay. This isn't going to work with anybody, dude. Yeah, good one. <laughs> I mean, I don't want you to have to call your own hotline, dude. Okay. I'm th I'm this I'm this close. I'm I'm this close. To what? I literally just want to have a talk with this guy. I'm this close, dude. I'm just walking. I'm this close. I'm just walking right now. I don't know what to say. I up. Can we just go in that street and have a talk? I'm this close. I'm literally this close. <laughs> well, what? All right. Well, look. We'll I'm stop gonna, in a second. I just sure. Well, I'm gonna give you the courtesy of turning on Elder Street right there okay. and having a conversation. If you don't want to do that, I'm not. I'm gonna stop trying with you, and that's okay. So it's up to you. I'm giving you two options. Uh, that I'm gonna do. You can do whichever one on your own free will. Sure. All good. Sure. 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 I know, you might want to sit here. I'm thinking about it. I'll stretch my legs out. All good, all good. <laughs> Want to use this later? Ooh, yeah. Okay. Ooh. Okay. Hey, loyal. By the way, when I say I'm this close, I'm I'm never gonna. Uh, I, that that isn't that doesn't mean like to put my hand on you. I'm never gonna do that. Okay. When I say I'm this close, I, I literally meant in proximity to you. But. Proximity. Well, because, you know, we're pretty close right now. I don't, I don't know what you mean. Well, you're like a few inches away from each other. But, um, okay. So, dude, look, man. I, I really want to, I really want to cut through all of this with you, okay? I want to. I want to cut through every single message, man. I, I don't want to. I really don't want to go through it. All right. I really. I, I don't. Huh? I don't either. I, I just. I just want to go home. For sure. So. This is crazy. I know. I know. I know, man. Hey, but you listening? You don't gotta look at me. You listening? Look, if, listen, man, if, if I really, if I really had the worst thoughts of you, I wouldn't be walking with you, giving you the chance to talk, man. Okay? Look, if this, and I know you said they're both wrong, whatever. If this, was an, if this was an eight year old, do you think I'd go this far to actually just have a talk with you? Probably not. Okay. There probably shouldn't be cameras if it's an eight year old, right? <laughs> yeah, I, I, you, and you know what I'm referring to, right? No. Okay. Well, why do you, if there, if, it was, if there was a guy talking to an eight year old, why do you think I wouldn't want to film that? Because, you know, they probably deserve the worst, don't they? I would have, you know. 
And, it, you know, I mean, it, you obviously see the difference between like an infant and a 14 year old, don't you? Okay, so they're, it's not, sure, if you want to call it wrong, whatever, dude, I'm not going to argue with you, but they're obviously not the same. There's levels to it. I mean, you know, I don't think you're the P word or anything like that. You know what the P word is, I, I assume. Okay. So, you mind looking at this image real quick? I really don't want to look at it. I'm, I'm disgusted right now with myself and with all the decisions I made. Okay. I just, I feel very nauseous. Okay. I feel very just stupid. Very. I, I can't believe I allowed anything to get this far. I mean, was it were you just getting carried away a little bit, or a lot of bit? I, obviously, I got carried away a little too much. Okay. Yeah. I mean, it's I just made some huge mistake. This is like a lifetime regret. For sure. Uh, I, I'll never be able to let this down. I. Literally just found I got my job back. Everything was going good, and mm -hmm. well, <clears throat> I, I just I need to like I need to make a huge change. Okay. Today, right now, and put all this behind me, and just. Be 100% uh, cautious and, and aware of what I'm doing. And if I'm unsure of something, then just leave it alone. I mean, how did it get to the point where <clears throat> there were pics starting to get sent to her? I mean, what what happened with that, dude? Like you said, uh, very carried away. Okay. When you sent those, did you feel like oh? I should not have sent that. Everything that's happened, I feel like I shouldn't have done. Shouldn't have done. Okay. Okay. I, I regret everything. But the question is still being dodged, okay? So, I've, I'm I've talking about when you sent the picture, <laughs> Loyal. I'm talking about that. I'm talking about this. This right here. I'm talking about this. What caused you to send that? Why did you do it? About to pull up another one. Or should I say pull out another one? Well, like, why, why did this happen, dude? Stupid. Okay. I mean, I'm obviously very stupid. Okay, loyal. I'm never gonna let nothing like this happen again, okay? I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I, what? Oh my god. Just ruined my entire life. Entire career, everything. Everything lost, gone. Okay. So look, man. I I I, I need to I need to talk to my therapist and uh, just open up about some stuff. And um, 
I need this. I just want to put this behind me. When did these type of feelings start for you? Has it been recent or has it been always been a thing? What happened, dude? This time, like I, this is it. Okay. Like I said, my girlfriend, like that I was with, she has, <coughs> she has kids, you know, 11, 13, and we're like best friends, you know. There's mm -hmm. never anything inappropriate, never any weird feelings, nothing like that. You know, I mean, I, they love me, and I, I, I mean, I love them. And yeah. It's, it's awesome. It's, it's uh. Good feeling, you know, to be to be wanted and to be loved like that, and have a good relationship. And I, I was really hoping she was. I was really hoping she was right about what she said. She, I really was hoping she was 22. I really was. Well, sh sure, I'm. Okay. <coughs> So, okay, so, Lil, can I ask you something? I know. Okay. I know this is hard to talk about, dude, okay? I, I know that, I know that. And I, look, I appreciate that you're still here talking about it, okay? For real. I need, I need to ask you about... I just don't want to answer any questions. I don't want to talk about this anymore. I've got to, I've got to... I've got to move on with my life and, and never make this kind of mistake again. And I won't. I won't. I'll make sure that. Okay. I I I felt bad. Okay. Like really bad. Sorry. I mean, it got to the point where there was a video sent to her, dude. It got it got to that point, man. Were you just lonely that night? What was going on when that was said, dude? I don't know. Obviously, I haven't been thinking straight. Okay. I, I obviously haven't been. I mean, did you did you did you think before you sent that, or were you just kind of did like did you think I shouldn't send this, or were you just like I'm just gonna send this? It. What 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 were you thinking, dude? I wasn't obviously. So so you just kind of sent that. You just kind of sent that video just without thinking. Is that what happened? You weren't conscious about who that was to. There, there was. I apparently didn't think anything through very well. No. Okay. Well, do. So sorry. So sorry. I mean, how many people did that video go to? Was it was it multiple that was sent that that was sent to? Was there other girls that that was sent to, or no? I'm not sure. You're not sure. I I I've, I've only talked to her and uh, my girlfriend that we kind of took a 
a break from. Okay. That's the only people I've been talking to. A okay. couple pin pals on on WhatsApp. Sure. But nothing like nothing. Any any? Do you have Telegram? Um, not anymore. Oh, okay. I had like a um somebody from a dating app, this Asian lady that kept wanting me to invest in cryptocurrencies, and so I just got rid of that. Oh yeah, yeah. I see you. Okay. So is there any other people that were like younger ladies under 18 that the video was sent to or was it just to Katie? No, there's nobody under, I didn't send anything to anybody like that, no. It was just to Katie? Because if there's more, if there's more you need to tell me, if it's just to Katie then it's fine, but. There's no more, there's nobody. Okay. So, so what about, what about like these photos, like of their bulge and whatnot. Was that sent to only Katie or was it sent to other people too? I've sent stuff to my girlfriend, my ex-girlfriend. Okay. So your ex-girlfriend and Katie were the only ones that went to? Is that correct? Is that correct, Loyal? Like I said, I didn't send anything to anybody else like like that, anybody underage or anything weird like that. Okay. I sent pictures of my my ex, you know. Um, that's it. Okay. Um, Did that go to anybody else? Anybody else like besides your ex or Katie that was over eighteen? possible I, I can't remember okay it's, it's possible so I, I've, I've talked to you know a few ladies on dating apps and they've you know asked me for pictures and stuff so. so so it's so literally this is like the only person that was under 80 that you've ever talked to online okay What happened? There's a beer right there. Okay. Okay, so Katie so Katie was the very first that was under eighteen that ever talked to you online? At least in this way. Ever. Ever. Okay. I, I mean my girlfriend, my ex girlfriend's uh, kids, you know, we we FaceTime or talk. Yeah, I know I get that. That's different. Yeah, but for that's, sure. That's it. Well like in the context of a dating app. Yeah, that's it, yeah. Okay, and so, so is Katie the only person under eighteen that you ever sent pics to? If there's others, like please tell no, me no. No, the other, I've never sent anything like that to anybody under eighteen ever. Okay, Katie was the very first one. There's nobody else. Okay. Was there any before Katie? Like never. Like okay. I said, never. So Katie was. I mean, do you promise Katie was the only one? I promise I've never sent anything to anybody else. To anybody. But that's under 18 or nothing like that. Okay. Never. Like, I... Right, but it's, it's kind of weird because, like, it's, it's like... It, it seems like you're kind of answering it but not answering it. It kind of makes me think there are others. I mean, so... There, there's, there's, there's not. Okay. So, Katie, Katie was the only one that you've ever sent a pic to that happened to be under 18. Is that correct? I mean, I've already told you. I, I've never seen anything to anybody else, like under 18 or nothing. Like okay. it's it's just a few people on a dating app, maybe or right. my ex. That's it. That is it. So. And I, I mean, a few of them I've, I've met, you know, um, and knew that they were they were of age or whatever. Yeah, yeah, of course. Like my, you know, like even my Uber driver, she's like, hey, do you remember me? Like we went on a date and we had coffee and stuff. I was like, oh yeah, how are you? You know. Oh, nice. Oh, okay. I just, I, I, I really f***ed up. I mean, so, if, if, if Katie was the only one under 18 that you ever sent a picture to, and I'll, I'll take your word for it, I'll, 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 I'll give you that, I'll take your word, if that's the only one that it was to, what made this, what made this, what made what made this like happen? Like what 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 made this like what caused you to do that? Just 
something that she said in the dating app. She said, no matter what I, I asked her about her age, she said, no matter what I tell you, just know that I'm 22. And just go with it. Okay. And she said, you have to trust me. Just go with it. So that's what caused you to send the dick pic then? That's what caused me to have that hope that maybe she really is 22. I, I don't. And I think a part of me, you know, was suspicious enough to, to know better. And, um. Okay. But I, I, again, like. Again, dude, I mean, if there is... I mean, loyal, I mean, she never said that on the app. Because, like, every time you bring up the app, it's always something else that she said on the app. It seems like every message she said on the app was, I'm 22, over and over again. I mean, that's just not true, man. I mean, I... I mean, just the fact that, like, I can't even... Like, just, just the fact that there's just no, like, type of... I mean, at this point, there's just messages being fabricated that you're bringing up. That's just not true. Oops, sorry. I mean, this was, like, all... I should have known better. I should have known better. I've never done anything like this before. I've never messaged anybody under 18 in, in an inappropriate way. I've never done anything like this ever. I, I f***ed up. I wasn't quite sure, but I, but I, I knew, like, I had this feeling like, you know, maybe she, maybe she really is, and I don't know. And I, I think part of me just knew better, and I was, I was suspicious of it. Mm-hmm. I should have just left it alone. I should have, I should have just left it alone. I should have I should have been like this is too too weird. This is too much. And uh, I'm unsure and I can't talk to you anymore. That's what I should have done. <clears throat> okay. I, I should have never pursued anything like this. Okay. I'm sorry, guys. I don't want anything like this to ever happen again. Okay. I'm just stretching. Okay. My bench is a little low. Yeah, no kidding, dude. God, how do you think I feel? I'm 6'4". We're both uncomfortable. What the heck? You're 6'4", really? Well, I mean, you're looking up at me, and you're pretty tall. So what do you yeah, think? Yeah, you're on an elevator. Hey, hey, don't look at that. Don't look at that. Okay. Look, man, I just want to go home. I need to talk to my probation officer. I need to talk to my therapist and work and let them know, like, look, I've got in. And uh, I need to be honest with you guys and just let them know what's going on. And that I actually really messed up. And if I lose my job or I lose, if I get in trouble with my probation officer, then that's what happens. But I need to talk to them and just be honest. And then, you know, Telegram, too. I mean, I'm glad you deleted Telegram, but I'm sure Telegram has pretty bad shit on there, huh? It's mostly just, like, people that, they say, oh, meet me here, and then they want to talk about cryptocurrencies, and, like, uh, like, if I don't have a lot of money, then they're not interested. In oh, something. scammers. Yeah, basically. Yeah. Like, one lady, she kept telling me she wanted to uh, teach me about cryptocurrencies over and over, and... I eventually just stopped talking to her. Um, got rid of that. So. Well, I mean, I, I'm not gonna pursue anything like this ever again. I'm not gonna. I f up bad, really bad. And I'm really sorry.
okay well let's let me let's see i mean i mean i think i should <clears throat> i mean i think like let's just have some honest here okay so did, did, did you send these pictures to katie yes or no i, I yes or no I don't want to answer any more questions. Okay. And so you're scared of what? To answer them. Yeah, of course I'm. I'm scared. I'm scared of everything right now. Okay. This is scary. Really okay. scary. You claim you answer these questions, and you're saying I'm not going to answer them. I mean. I've I've answered all your questions. I know what happened was wrong. I know what I did was wrong. That's all. That, that's like all you said, though. You haven't actually. You haven't actually said that. You know, these were sent. You haven't said that. You know, you said you said that you said you already know what what you've already got stuff. Like, and then right? there, I mean, and if I already know, and there's still this level of dishonesty, why should I like? There's not dishonesty. I fucked up. Okay. Severely, and I, I just don't want to like go into it anymore. It's like giving me anxiety, and I feel like can I you have uh, anxiety can you today. order the pickles, please? So I just, I just want to go home. Okay. Well, um. I, I can't do this anymore. I, I, I know that I messed up. Well, what is the word of the pickles, man? Oh, okay. Well, it probably the pickles probably mean you shouldn't walk away right now. It's just, you know, it's honestly just whatever, dude. I mean. You're breaking your probation being in this state anyway. I, 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 don't, I, th I think like just the dishonesty, it's just kind of sickening me right now. I haven't been dishonest like me. Yeah, you have. Saying I f***ed up over and over again, but you can't even answer a simple yes or no question. Do you want to come this way? You should probably come this way. What do you? I thought it was red because they were here. Well, actually, let's just go over there. I thought it was red because we were stopped. Okay. Here, well, loyal. I mean, why are you refusing to answer a yes or no question? Are you sure? Well, dude, I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to like screw you, dude. I'm just trying to see how honest you're being. I mean, just the more and more just beating around the bush, the more and more, I, the, the less and less I just give a I mean, honestly. We both know I screwed up. We both know I made stupid ass decision, decisions. And you didn't even own up to it. I'm owning up to it. I... Okay, so did you send pics? Yes or no? Yes or no, dude? I sent some before in the past to people, yeah. Okay, did you send any to Katie? I've never sent any to anyone under 18 before like, like this. Never ever. Like I told you before. So I... was Katie the first time or not, loyal? Was she or no, dude? There's never been anyone else. There's never been anyone else? Okay, so does that make Katie the first time, or the second time, or the third time? <laughs> I don't know why you keep asking me the same question. Because you're just refusing to answer, and it's just kind of gaslighting me. Because I'm pretty much screwed at this point, no matter what. And I was trying to help you. I was genuinely trying to help you, dude. I, I appreciate that. Nah. You told me I could go home. That's what you I can. Do. I just want to go home. Dude, like I already know you. I already know you have a charge, dude. You have a charge. That was dismissed from my ex-wife. Okay. And you're on probation now, dude. <laughs> yeah. I'm screwed. I have to go admit that. Go back home and I have to tell her what I did. Okay. So, dude, if there were points in the conversation where you thought she was 14, why did you still send those pictures? Why would you? Why did you still talk? Why, dude? Just I just want to know why. That's literally all I want to know. That's literally it. I really legitimately believe what she told me before that she really was older. No, now they're just going back. I was hoping that that was the case. <laughs> okay. I was really hoping that was the case. Okay, so if that's the case, why did you research parental consent laws? 
Why did you research that? Why was that research? Why did you look it up? That's like literally all I want to know. Because my ex-girlfriend's kids were curious about that too. Okay. Well, one of them was. Okay. She had a kind of a serious boyfriend. And that was older? Yeah. Okay. And then like some of her TikToks were like, like, what is up with that? Like, a little inappropriate, so I... Okay. Uh huh. Okay. Well, Loyal, you just, I'm just going to tell you, I had no idea whether you looked it up or not. That was called a bluff, kind of like what you're doing. So thank you for admitting that you did look that up. Okay. So now I have you admitting to dick pics. I have you admitting you shouldn't be admit here. To, admit to what? I didn't admit to no pics. I <laughs> said I've sent stuff to other people before. I've never sent any. You said Katie was the only one. I never said that. Oh, okay. So you didn't send any to Katie? I never said that I did or I didn't. I just said I've never sent anyone to anyone under age before. You said this was I the did. first time. Like. You said this was the first time. Like. It's on camera, dude. It's just, okay. It's on camera. <laughs> See? And I'm still trying to help your ass out. But just so you know, I have your pictures. I have you saying you f***ed up. I have your condom, by the way. I have you admitting that you looked up parental consent laws. I have you also saying that you believe she was 14 for some time of it. God, dude, it's like I, it's like I shouldn't even. It's like why am I? Why do I even care anymore? If you think I'm concerned with you admitting or not admitting, you already said enough. The messages are enough. Exactly. Okay. So. Like you're saying. I up like I that's all everything's there it's enough like okay I'm gonna go to, to jail for a very long time prison for a very long time and I know and just ruined my entire life and it's freaking me out right now well dude I literally am talking to you so it doesn't happen I thought you would just be I thought you would just be honest well you just, just admit that you're lying and bluffing and stuff like that so yeah because I, you know what it's because you were it's because you were because I thought this would be a, a very cordial conversation, especially with someone who does something such a good thing like you do. I, I literally thought that. But now it's to the point I've where. I just gotta move forward. I, I'm up. I mean, that's not happening. At this point, what? No, that's not happening. Yeah, I, I don't care I really, anymore. I really like. Loyal, there is no moving forward. You're done. You're done now. I just wanted, I mean, if you just want to be honest, go talk to the cop, you piece of shit. I'm gonna be sure to give them the condom in your, in your video confession too. Okay. All right. <laughs> you might not want to keep walking, dude. Yeah, bitch. Guess. Hello. How's it going? Not too bad. Hi. This individual is here to meet. Follow me around. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> Don't walk away. Do not walk away. I haven't done anything. I'm on public. Man? I'm on a public sidewalk. Okay. okay. Got well, we got information that you're involved in a crime, so grab your ID. Oh. Oh. Oh uh, yeah, we, we all recorded it. No, are you the one that called? Uh, well, yeah, all of us worked our together. Yeah. Information on we we all do. So this in, this individual, his name's Loyal. Um, he changed his name to that. He, so he's on probation. First of all, he's not allowed to leave Nebraska, and he's here right now. That's first and foremost. And he brought a condom for who he believed to be a 14-year-old girl. These aren't all of his messages. These are the printouts he admitted to sending 
pictures to her kind of indirectly. He's like, there hasn't been anybody else I've sent them to that's been underage besides so her. Who is pretending to be the 13-year-old? That lady over there. Okay. And um, he, there, we also have recorded phone calls of him. And also, um, he also did say, like, you know, he tried to go back and forth saying, well, I believe she was 22, all this crap. But then he admitted that he was told she was 14. He said throughout the conversation that throughout the conversation that um, you know he, there was belief that he was that she was 14. I mean, obviously he knew the whole time, but um, he also did say that. Uh, crap! I'm trying to think of what else he said. What am I missing here? I'm missing something. I mean, the pictures, belief that she was 14. Condom. Yeah, and I mean it was repeated a bunch of times. Yeah. Are these all the messages? These aren't all of them. This is like a lot. This is his. Oh, he, oh, and he also said that, um, you know, he floated around marrying this girl, and he admitted that he did look up the the uh, parental consent to marry early. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, the fool. Is he texting you off, like, his phone or, like, an app? Uh, his phone. We're using an app. These are all the messages here on the phone. Do you have the scout messages? Yeah, that's when it started, yeah. But, I mean, he sent a selfie. I mean, he literally, like... Yeah, and I, don't, I, I had only sent him, like, one message, and he automatically wanted to get over there to the other uh, to the other uh, Instagram page. Um, yeah, and I don't really have any other messages on there to the other, uh, to the other, uh, to the text free app. There's probably, I would say... Oh, yeah, he tried to... Yeah. And I have phone calls. I have at least probably... Oh, yeah. Yeah, he has a... Yeah, he's a, he's a sex offender. He has a charge, too. Yep. He said he said on the app that you told him you were 22 a bunch of times. It's insane. No, no. Okay. I can tell you what he's on probation for. He's on probation for grabbing the uh, steering wheel of some woman's car and crashing it into a tree. Right, Loyal? Yeah. So this is him. This is him, this is him sending the Uber that's on the way here. He paid $100 for the Uber. Okay. Where was here? Where was the address? Oh, uh, the park. Okay. Yeah. And this is, oh, and this is also uh, the condom that he brought. He, he voluntarily gave me this condom. He should have alcohol in there, too. In his backpack. How do you know that? He, took, he took a picture of the alcohol. And I asked he's... for it. Yep. Yep. Yeah, this is, this is the condom from his back, sir, right here. Yeah, yeah, he does. A grown jack. <laughs> I f***ed up, sir. <laughs> I was going to tell him that he wasn't live. Tell him what? I was gonna, I was gonna tell Jack that he look, it looked like yeah. done. Dude, it, <laughs> that'd be funny if I was like, yeah. Oh, oh good. That'd be funny. If I was like, You're not so loyal, hot, and he just starts going. <laughs> Yeah, I guess just next time, like, just save the scout messages. Because he was saying the whole time, oh, she was just telling me she was going to be too scout to go with that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 